Now, just like in arithmetic sequences, we have geometric sequences that we can find partial sums for. Um, and again, any partial sum, like the sum of the first term would be sum of the first term. Sum of the first two terms, you would add the first two terms together and so on and so forth. And so as long as we have this geometric sequence, which um, is normal, we would have the nth partial sum, and we would use this formula. The nth partial sum is equal to the first term times the quantity 1 minus r to the n, all over 1 minus r. So as long as you know that formula in a sub 1 and r and n, we can figure things out. So if we look at example number 4, I'm trying to keep this all on the same page here. Example number 4, we have this sequence. We know our r value is 0.6, because if I just keep multiplying by 0.6, I'm going to get the next term in the sequence. And I can plug it into the formula. Now, some of you I know are already saying, well, it's just the first six terms, so why don't I just add 1 plus 0.6 plus 0.36 plus 0.216. There's four terms. If I turn on my calculator and do 0.216 times 0.6, I get plus 0.1296. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms times 0.6 plus point zero seven 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 six. I can just add those up. One plus point six plus point three six plus point two one six plus point one two nine six plus point oh seven 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 six. And I get two point three eight three three six. Sure, that's doable. You can do that. I just I'm a formula kind of guy, so I would like to know how this goes in the formula. And so the formula is S sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. Well, if I plug that in to find S sub 6, I know the first term is 1. I know r is 0 0.6 and going to the 6th power and then I have 1 minus 0.6 on the bottom. Well, I'm going to just plug that all into my calculator at once. This is where the Inspire comes in pretty handy. Hopefully we can see that. And um, I'm just going to plug it in, do control, fraction sign, and just type in 1, parenthesis, 1 minus 0.6 to the 6th power, close the parentheses, oops, close the parentheses, go down to the bottom, 1 minus 0.6, and you can see my answer comes out the same as 2.38336. And so that's the sum of the first six terms. All right, so it's up to you if you want to use your calculator, if you want to use a formula, or if you want to use, uh, just add them all up. But if I ask you for the first 10 or 15 or 20 terms, you're going to have a lot more adding of terms to, uh, to get that sum. So you might want to think about using the formula. All right. Down here we have sigma notation for example 5. It says find the sum of uh, the 9 times negative 1 third to the k power from 1 to 4. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and plug those in. And uh, I'm going to have 9 times negative 1 third to the first plus 9 times negative one-third squared plus nine times negative one-third to the third plus nine times negative one-third to the fourth. That's nine times negative one-third plus nine times negative positive one-ninth because it's squared plus nine times negative one-twenty-seventh plus nine times one-eighty-first. So all I did was the exponent part. Now I get negative 3 plus 1 minus 1 third plus 1 ninth. Fractions. Everybody loves fractions, right? So that's going to be 2. And let's just do uh, minus 3 ninths plus 1 ninth. And so I'm going to get... Uh, Let's say this is 18 ninths minus 3 ninths plus 1 ninth. Uh, 19 ninths minus 3 ninths is 16 ninths is our solution.
okay? Now the other thing we could have done is gone through and found that geometric sequence. If I went through and said negative 3, 1, negative 1 third, 1 ninth, that has an a sub 1 value of negative 3 and a common ratio of uh, negative 1 third. And if I go through, I can uh, figure out that uh, formula and plug it back in up here. It's going to be the first four terms. So a sub 1 is going to be negative 3, r is going to be negative 1 third, n is going to be 4 because there's four terms. But in this case, it's nice to just write them out. And with four terms, it's not too difficult to do. So there's a couple different ways you can do the sums. Again, knowing the formulas is really important.